Am I the asshole for letting my sister spend thousands of dollars on a purse I knew she'd hate? Oh my god, yes. I do not get along with my sister. (laughs) Okay, hold on. (laughs) The title, Am I the asshole for letting my sister spend thousands of dollars on a purse I knew she hate? An opening line, I do not get along with my sister, is great. I think that's it. I think that's all we need to know right there. In the story, it is entertaining as F. Anyway, I know this is going to make me sound bitter, but she's always been the golden child of our family, and she never let me forget it. I've now reached an age where I've come to peace with the fact. Although I'm low contact with her and my parents, I do still see them semi-regularly because I'm still close to my grandparents. She has this habit where anything I have, she has to have as well. It started as kids, where if my parents bought me anything, even presents on my birthday, she'd have to get something too. It extended to her trying to make significant others cheat on me. Me, going for jobs I applied for only to prove she could get it too, and even petty things like buying the same makeup as me, but applying it to show that she's prettier. I've been recently saving up for a really nice designer bag, and she found out from a cousin I told. I know that luxury handbags aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I've worked really hard for a promotion and really wanted to celebrate and do something for myself. My sister began to sniff around to find out exactly which bag I wanted to get, and I just knew what was coming. So I lied. And I told my cousin a ridiculously expensive bag that's absolutely not my sister's taste whatsoever. At Thanksgiving, we all showed up to my grandma's house and she was carrying the ugly bag. She saw that I was carrying the one I actually wanted and lost it. She said I was vindictive and told my parents I tried to sabotage her financially. She ended up sobbing and insisted that I pay for her bag to make up for my prank. I told her I didn't force her to buy anything. And when I asked her why she wanted that specific bag to begin with, she ended up crying harder. My parents called me an asshole for messing around with my sister and being so petty, and are insisting that I pay for half the bag. I feel justified, but I do feel bad since I did technically tell my cousin the ugly bag knowing my sister would hear about it, but I still stand by the fact that I couldn't have forced her to buy anything. No, not the asshole. I think it's hilarious. And this is just exposing her. She was exposed. That's it. That's all you did. All you did was expose someone who was doing something really stupid and they got upset about it that's how it feels to get exposed i'm sure it's very upsetting do not let your parents make you pay for half of that that's horse shittery don't do it i mean whatever if it's gonna make life go on do it if you want to do it you shouldn't and you don't have to you're not an asshole at all you don't show up on our ask on scale we need to create like what's an opposite of an asshole a genius no there are, <laughs> there are plenty of genius assholes i don't know you guys tell me what you think would be a good opposite scale for us to do where it's like asshole is on one end and on the other end is is like, what? What is that thing? Because that's where OP belongs here. And the opposite of asshole, awesome. I don't know. Mouth? I think it's hilarious. And I wish you had snapped some phone pics and posted those along with this because this would be hilarious to see play out. This needs to be a skit. This absolutely needs to be an SNL skit. It could 1000% be. But you exposed her and hopefully her behavior will now change. Pain creates change, right? Well, this might be the pain she needed to stop doing this bullshit. If not, keep doing what you did. That way she just doesn't trust the intel and eventually just stops doing it because she's been burned too many times. I like where you're going with this, OP. I like it. I like it.